A 16-year-old student will no longer be allowed to attend her school because of Bill 96. She'd been granted permission to study in English, but it seems that under the new law, she's lost that right. Rob Lurie has more. It's a lot of things that I've really worked hard for. This student we're calling Julie is a Chinese national who's been in Montreal for four years on a study permit. But with just a few days until the start of her graduating year, the Quebec government has told her she can't go back to the school she loves. I mean, it's totally ruined my dreams about my grade 11 year. Since grade 9, Julie has been at ECS, an English private school in Westmount which receives some government funding and therefore has to follow language laws. Julie was allowed to attend ECS because she obtained a study certificate and a temporary English eligibility certificate. But this week she received a letter from the Education Ministry saying she's no longer eligible for English schooling. The problem is her study certificate has to be renewed annually, which was never a problem before. But the letter points out that under Bill 96, the rule for English eligibility certificates has changed. And while they can still be granted for temporary students for up to three years, they cannot be renewed. And Julie needs hers renewed every time she renews her study permit. Overzealous application. The Quebec of, English School Boards Association says it's messy bureaucracy that's affecting dozens. It's clear to me the objective was to limit those temporary certificates to three years. Now, because of the wording, you're seeing civil servants in the Department of Education going, you know something, it's not even three years, it can be one year because it's not renewable even after a year. And we think that's just plain wrong. Because Julie is devastated. The day before I got my letter, I was like talking to my friends about partying after school and getting together for like gift exchange and stuff. But then my mom just came into my room and said I could not go to my school anymore. At ECS, Julie heads the debate club, the mathletics club, as well as the yearbook and is also part of student government. The head of school says she's heartbroken at the prospect of losing such a bright student. She says staff is helping the family appeal the decision, but the school refuses to get involved in the politics of the situation. We're doing what we can as a school, as, as we do, but we are not making a stance against the government or the law on this. We reached out to the education minister but did not hear back by our deadline. Julie is now waiting for a decision on her appeal, but she's been told that could take a month or even longer. And classes start in days. In the meantime, she has no choice but to look for a new school. Rob Lurie, CTV News.